welcome. I date back as early as 3000 BC. I'm a sheath that rolls over the penis to prevent the sperm from entering the vagina. I'm 86% effective with typical use, and I do prevent the spread of STIs. I don't really have any side effects, but I do expire, I can rip, and I can't come off. Hi, I'm the new Varek. I've been around since the early 2000s. I work like the pill, but I'm a plastic ring that fits inside the vagina. I'm 92% effective with typical use. My side effects include bleeding and nausea, not great for smokers and migraine sufferers. Hi, I'm the pill. I've been around since 1960 and was a huge part of the sexual revolution. I'm a hormone you take daily to prevent your eggs from being released every month. I'm 92% effective with typical use, and I can actually make your periods more regular. My side effects do include irregular bleeding, headaches, and I'm not seller for smokers or migraine sufferers over 35. Hi, I'm Naya UD. I've been around since the early 19th century. I changed the chemistry of the uterus to prevent the sperm from fertilizing the egg. I'm 99.1% effective with typical use. My side effects include irregular or increased bleeding for the first month, and there's a chance I'll fall out. Hi, I'm the shop, Depo Provera. Uh, I hit the scene in 1992. I'm a hormone that prevents the ovaries from releasing an egg every month. Uh, I'm 99.7% effective uh, with typical use. I only need to be given every age 12 weeks. My side effects include weight gain, uh, migraines, acne. Uh, it takes up to about 12 months for your cycle to go back into effect. Hi, I'm a diaphragm. Earliest editions of me date back to the 1800s. I'm now a latex or silicone cup that fits over the cervix to prevent the sperm from entering the vagina. I'm 80% effective with typical use, and I prevent the spread of STIs. My side effects, though, are an increased risk of urinary tract infections, and I can cause problems for people with a allergy to latex. Hi, I'm the sponge. I've been around since the 1980s. I am a plastic foam with spermicide that covers the cervix to prevent sperm from entering it. <laughs> I'm 84% effective of typical use. I don't affect your hormones and can be worn up to 24 hours. I can be a little hard to use and sometimes difficult to remember. Hi, I'm the Patch. I've been around since the early 2000s. I work like the pill except you wear me. I'm 92% effective with typical use and you only need to change me once a week. My side effects include irregular bleeding, headaches, and I'm not super for smokers or migraine sufferers over 35 and I might come off. Hi, I'm a female condom. I was first introduced in the 1990s, but had some issues, so I was reintroduced in 2009. I have a polyurethane sheet that is inserted into the vagina that prevents sperm from entering. I am 80% effective with typical use. I help prevent the spread of use STIs. No real side effects, but I'm known to make noise during sex and slip. Hi, I'm tubal occlusion also known as transcervical sterilization. I work by placing a device inserted into the fallopian tubes. I'm over 99% effective and no incisions are required. There is still a risk of pregnancy for the first three months, so make sure you have a backup plan to protect yourself during that time. Hi, I'm tubal ligation. I've been around since the 1880s. I'm a surgical procedure that disconnects the fallopian tubes so the egg and sperm never meet. I'm 99.5% effective. I'm great for someone looking for a more permanent birth control. I have no side effect, but risks always exist with surgery and anesthesia. Hi, I'm a spermicide. I've been around since 1500 AD. I'm only 74% effective on my own, so it's best to pair me with a barrier method such as a condom or a diaphragm. Hi, I'm a vasectomy. I was first performed in the 1920s. I'm a surgery that blocks the sperm ducts and prevents sperm from entering the ejaculate. I'm 99% effective. I only cause local pain and swelling for a short period of time. Hi, I'm fertility awareness, also known as the rhythm method. 
I teach women to track their more fertile days during their cycle so they can avoid intercourse during those days. I'm only 80% affected and not recommended for anyone with irregular or erratic cycles. Hi, I'm Abstinence. I've been around since the dawn of time. I'm 100% effective and I prevent the spread of all STIs. My side effects include frustration and masturbation. Hi, I'm Plan B, also known as the morning after pill. I work by delaying or preventing your ovulation. I'm 89% effective with typical use and must be taken within 72 hours of unprotected sex. But the sooner the better. You shouldn't take me if you have a history of allergies to my ingredients or are over 165 pounds. My side effects include nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, headaches, and dizziness. We had a lot of fun today, but remember, we are not medical professionals. So if you have any other questions about birth control, please talk to your family doctor or visit your local family planning clinic.